You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. It's the easiest choice you'll ever make. So you're probably wondering, well, if that's all, then why is this video three hours long? Honestly, guys, life's been hard, right? For all of us. And I just think we could all use a sweet little cute little game. Content warning. Basically, if you're a l guys, I was gonna say if you're a little baby, it's it's guy, it's probably fine. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings. <laughs> Speak for yourself. There are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. Okay, well that's sweet. New game. Let's do it. Chapter one. The hero and the princess. Oh, that's nice. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that oh. path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay. Narrator, that sounds, uh, sounds like a nice little cabin. You're here to slay her. Never mind. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay. Pretty cut and dry. Okay, let's see. Wow, there's a lot. Thanks for telling me what to do. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. Appreciate it. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Okay. A warning before you go any further. Yeah, of course. What's up? She will lie, she will cheat, okay. and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Sounds good. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. I didn't think that at all. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay. Proceed into the cabin. The so. interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. Mm. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Might be good, narrator, if we're thinking the same thing for slaying the princess. The blade is your implement. Nice, okay. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay, let's take the take that. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. <laughs> we're on the same page, and we're reading the same book. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. Mm -hmm. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of like rot me. filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying yeah. her is probably doing her a favor. Good way to think about it, honestly. Her voice carries up the stairs. Oh. Who's there? It's just me, Charlie Slime School. You've probably seen my streams. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Oh. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hi! Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. I mean, okay, I'm coming down to kill you with a knife. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist binding her to the far wall of the basement. Okay. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Yeah, it seems like it. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, how did you- Shit! Dude, she's in my head! She's in my head! No! Then drop the knife. No. -uh. We should. It'll go a long way to building trust with her. Don't you dare. No, no, no. Let it's fine. Go. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Probably gonna keep this knife so that I can kill her. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. Because the I mean, it's, it's cold again. I was called Slay the Prison. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? I really don't. Because you should be. Oh shit, okay. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. 
Nuh uh. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? Nuh uh. And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Nuh uh. So, you ropes. should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Oh, yeah? Check this out. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Oh, that's the name of the game! Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. It does? A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needs to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. Oh! You can feel bone grinding oh, on bone where your jaw. jaw's been fractured. My weak chin! What the fuck? Holy shit, that hurts! Oh, fuck! Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first oh. strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Oh, why am I so small? It shrunk me! Oh, fuck, it fucking shrunk me, dude! Your blade slashes through oh the my air God, again and again, we're and her fists connect other. with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. We can still turn this around. Oh, uh, I don't know. I think I need a breather. Okay, okay. Ow, you Are win! You serious? Ow! Ow, fuck! As internal bleeding Ow, sets in, jaw. the blade falls from your trembling hands, Ow. clattering to the ground, useless. Uh. You lacked the will to finish the job. Your bruised and broken body falling to its knees before. Oh, stop! Please, please don't kill me! Please, God, let me live! This is the end, isn't it? Is this really the best you could do? Look at you, completely broken. Please let me go! I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. Please let me go, let me live! She plants her foot on your chest and pushes you onto your back the air leaving your lungs in a heavy puff. And then she brings her knee to your throat. Please be good. She leans into it with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly oh possess, my God. shattering your windpipe and leaving you starved for breath. That's too bad. I was looking forward to some company. Chat, you are unhinged right now. Everything goes dark, and you die. Yes, that's it, Gunkers! We didn't really slay the princess after all, but maybe we slayed something even better. The thoughts that we will be a hero because we never will because sometimes what you do just isn't good enough and sometimes it just hurts too bad and you gotta stop and give up. Thank you so, so much for, for watching and I will slime you later, is what I would say. We gotta go back. What? You're on a path in the woods. What? And at the end of that path is a cabin. You're here to slay her. Oh. Oh, God. I didn't realize it didn't have consequences, and I died like a bitch. I'm gonna pretend I don't remember it. Um. <laughs> I can't, I can't oh, admit, boy. I can't admit that that happened. Before you go <clears throat> any further, mm -hmm. she will lie. We might yeah, as well just know. pledge ourselves to her and stop pretending we're capable of doing anything in this situation. She probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. That's crazy. I think my internal monologue just switched accents. Can we tone down the pessimism <laughs> just a smidge? I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. Fuck, dude. You're being annoying. Just ignore their bickering and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. <laughs> I, pledge I cannot mind. stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. I agree. If she's wrongfully imprisoned, then we should rescue her, but if he's telling the truth, we shouldn't just hand her the world on a silver platter. My god, am I going to get a new internal monologue every time this is hyped? Rescue her? Given the stakes of the situation, there isn't really a difference between rescuing her and pledging yourself to her. Either would be terrible. So please, try to ignore both of those knuckleheads and focus on saving the world. <sighs> There's baby. actually three knuckleheads in there. There's the voice of the hero, the voice of the broken, and the voice of the fucking down bad deranged. Which is also the Twitch chat right now. If that's what you want, I guess I. We got this. All right, we're here to slay the princess. The interior of the cabin is larger oh, and more grandiose fuck. than its humble exterior would suggest. The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Okay. The blade is your implement. Right. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Oh, Why do we feel so? Small. We don't feel small. We are small. We are? Approach the mirror? You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There 
isn't much to see here. There's a mirror right there! What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Okay. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. What the fuck? We should count ourselves lucky. Some things are better left unseen. I think my eczema's flaring up a little bit. Gonna take the blade? You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Does this whole situation change based on my perception of her? So now that I went out like a bitch? The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase. It steps almost as deep as you are tall. The smell of incense drifts up from below. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. Does that mean she's going to demolish huh. me? This is actually kind of nice. Okay. It's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her booming voice rolls up the yep, stairs. Yep, 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 yep. Is that a guest I hear? Uh, I linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. That is a new kind of talk. You weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. Witness me is crazy. We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. <laughs> no, 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 no. Should be worried about your sudden change in attitude? My hand, it's Just drifting towards ago, my credit card. The tier three sub is locked in. Want Fuck. To get down there. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. Though, if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. I am worried about the kind of woman that says to witness her. I feel she may be a, perhaps a monstrosity from a tome of creatures. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. Okay. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. All right, chat, stay focused. We are here to kill the princess. Let's all focus up, focus up, focus up. We're here, we're present, we've got this. There's nothing- the <gasps> Oh, shit! Almost glowing in the weak starlight. We're fucked. Her figure framed so by a stained glass so window. Fucked. Her long hair billows around oh her, God. and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. I, she's gonna fucking force choke me through the screen, and I'm gonna die. The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you, it was pointless to resist her. You're just saying that, dude. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. Worms! I mean... <laughs> you brought that knife again. Even though you know it's useless. Oh shit, oh shit. Such oh shit. charming audacity. Drop it. Nuh uh Okay. No, 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 we're going to say... on command, the blade slips from your grasp. Well, it crashes well, uselessly to the floor. Well... But we didn't drop it. We decided to grip it tighter, remember? Are you really just going to let that happen to us? I have a duty to report facts as facts, and the fact is that you dropped the blade. I did? Of course we dropped it. She's so much more than us. You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. Okay, all right, you gotta go, bro. Oh, I understand what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. Neil. Nuh uh. No? Nuh uh. Oh, are you still trying to defy me? I said, Neil. Your legs buckle, oh. and your knees hit the floor. That's my good little bird. Now, why don't we talk? Okay. The last time we met, you tried to kill me. Though to be fair, I gave up. Very pathetic. Again, trying so to see where you've already catastrophically failed. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? It's a very cool way to say the basement. Speak. The last time we met. Oh, shit. Nobody should have met her before this. You should be the first. You're the only one I trust to deal with her. Then you shouldn't have trusted us. There was nothing we oh, could so do to stop her then. the narrator's not... And there's nothing we can do to stop what? her now. 
He's being melodramatic, but yeah, we've been here before and she absolutely destroyed us. What are we even supposed to do to stop her? Okay. That's worrying. Whatever you do, don't tell her why you're here. It's best not to give her any ideas. I'm pretty sure she gets the gist. Perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. Pick up that needle. Oh, okay. <laughs> do it. It's what she wants. No objections here. Don't know what she's planning, and I don't like that we don't know what she's planning, but... We might as well pick up the blade. As your eye falls on the blade, you feel a weight. Some divine hand that sits needles, unperceived man. by your senses, but that manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer. Okay. Pick up... Why are you even gonna try and make me do with it? I'm going to kill you. You're not kidding about this divine hand. Who's doing this? Is it hers? You know, pick up the blade. Okay. You reach forward and grasp the blade. Stand. I, I seriously, I just kneeled. This screen. one's easy. See? This isn't so bad. Okay, yeah. We can do that. We were probably gonna stand anyway. Oh no, man. She's kidding you too. I'm gonna kneel. For Stop making me do things. Uh. Stand. You can feel a creaking tension between body and will as you slowly rise to your feet, like two foes forced into an unhappy truce. The princess eyes you with soft contemplation. The moment seems to last a lifetime, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out the long, painful seconds. But all silences are broken eventually. To defy me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You, oh, do you, okay, you have a Go XLR. I get you have reverb on your mic. Shadow, while I am brilliant radiant. I'm an alpha, and I am the alpha. <laughs> gonna die, Take dude. that knife in your hand oh! and slit your throat. What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> it's like the mo What? Huh? <laughs> that's the most fair You don't have to listen to her. You're armed. Just steal your nerves, step forward, and end this. End this? Oh, we'll end this all right. No, is this seriously? Your hand lifts the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for the unclear language. <laughs> end her. Yeah, uh, uh, just, oh, my, my bad, my bad. Mix it up, mix it up a little bit. Um, going to slay... Gonna sl gonna sl no, I'm not gonna slay, I'm gonna slay the princess. Your body is sluggish and unresponsive, actively fighting against you, but you do your best to stagger forward. One step at a time, you move towards the princess. Slay yourself. Slitting your throat would have been a mercy, but it seems you're in need of a harsher lesson. I'm ready, I learned, I know your moves, let's do this. Plunge that knife into your lungs. Why is, is that better? I'm sorry. What? Don't. As you take another step forward, the blade digs into your ribs, oh, slicing God. through flesh with ease. It somehow feels like an entirely natural thing to do, while the simple act of walking has become an arduous impossibility. Need him, need him, need him. Let's do this. Let's do this, woman. Then it slides back out, the wound burning as a small hiss of air escapes through the fresh orifice. Blood fills your lungs. Still got the other one. Let's go. Now, do it again. Uh, Keep doing it until I give you permission to stop. No, I, I can fight you at the Those same time. are just words you don't have to I listen to. Her. It's what she wants. You, heroic one, what are you doing? Don't just let this happen. Stop him from killing you. I'm on it. Are you? Your other hand locks around your wrist, struggling what? to keep it from perforating vital organs. But the blade still flails towards you, managing to slice bits of skin that plop to the floor to join oh the growing God. pile of blood and gore beneath you. Despite the pain, you manage to keep yourself in one piece. At least for now. Oh, thanks, Queen Rissa for the. Oh, yeah, alright. The whole fucking royal bloodline's here now. Great. What a pitiful display. A wounded little bird, thinking it can defy a god. Uh, uh. It doesn't have to be I can do it. I can still do it. 
It doesn't have to hurt Stop so it. much. You can choose a gentle end. You can choose to leave that punctured vessel for the next. What does that mean? Slay the princess! Or you can pathetically struggle against yourself until the floor of this temple is painted with the bloody impressions of your futility. No, I'll make it on one step, one step at a time. You continue to approach the princess, even as the repeated gouges of your blade expose bone and muscle to the open air of the oh, basement. Oh, God. You know, this would be a lot easier if you gave us a hand. Oh, yeah, it kind of would be. It's in the walls somewhere, right? My influence only goes so far, and I can only juggle so many things at once. The best I can do right now is to continue to drive you forward. Believe me, this whole ordeal would be so much easier if I didn't have to contend with free will. Can you talk faster, dude? I'm fucking... Ah, I'm fucking locked with organ steam, bro. You're the one making things difficult. You're the one making us hurt. She doesn't want to hurt us. She's just doing what she has to. Stop. Oh! Mucho picando. As you finish crossing the room, Please don't kick you the fall shit out of me. Your knees <laughs> at the princess's feet, your chest heaving as your blood pools in the crevices of the stone floor, the coppery taste coating your throat. Princess <laughs> the sound. lifting your chin with her finger as her face lowers to yours. How large is she? Your devotion is misplaced. You've surrendered to delusion. But something about your defiant spirit speaks to me. You are different than you were before. Let me, let me at her! Let me at her! Come on! Perhaps, if you've learned your lesson, I can spare you from the release of death. No, I have to character develop. There's a place at my side for you, if you'll have it. Not as an equal, but as something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps. Or a pet. How thoughtful of her. I don't want to hear the voice of the bro- what is, what is bro gonna say? It's a mercy. Take it. Oh my god. I think he's given up whatever say he had at the start of all this. At least one of you is sane. She's within striking distance, and she's only negotiating now because she knows you have what it takes to put an end so to her. So not true. Seize the moment before it's too late. Just so, just, all right, here we go. I pop off, I do a backflip, DM, I do a triple fucking backflip, and I cut her head off. No. What? Yes. Though your body trembles, struggling to defend itself in the face of the princess's overwhelming will, you finally manage to- Let's go! Pointing to her side before she can react. The wind of your freedom rushes oh, she that big. You channel it into a decisive blow, stabbing into the soft flesh of her ankle and severing the tendons in an act of unyielding defiance. One HP down, nine million to go. She falls to the floor, crashing unceremoniously to her knees. But you don't give her any time to recover. Your heart pounding Holy with shit, determination, I'm going for it. you plunge your blade into her chest. <laughs> As you find your time uh, again and again, she laughs, crude emotion breaking through her once stony composure <laughs> as your blade cuts her flesh. Why is she laughing? We can do this, can't we? I don't know, fuck me, I got no fucking lungs! You always could. The decision to give you this task was not made lightly. You're here for a reason. It's not too late to pick up the pieces. It's not too late to toss that blade aside and beg for forgiveness. <laughs> Alright, bro. Okay. Shut up. I can't believe you would actually strike me. You. You hate him. You worm. You defile her. You don't know the consequences of your arrogance. <sighs> I'm no worm. I eat worms. I'm the big bird. Let's do it. Oh. Before you can strike the final blow, the princess lashes out, knocking you off your feet. <laughs> oh, God damn. There's an unsettling wet pop as your spine breaks, numbness and pain spreading through your body. As you rebound towards the ceiling in a moment of disorientated lightness, she drives her fist into your chest. <laughs> your body is crushed as she pulverizes you into the floor, the ground itself breaking from the impact. Oh my god! You lie there, broken, beyond pain, unable to even see what she's done to you. But the princess is succumbing to her own wounds as well. She looks down upon her body in abject horror and disgust. 
You made me use my hands. I... I can feel myself twisting into something new. Something dull, something defiled. What have you done to me? What do you usually do? I don't... You're monsters and conspirators. I can't bear to watch this. The princess has been nothing but cruel to you. You should feel liberated by her fall. Yeah! But I don't feel liberated. I feel empty. Aside from the pain, I feel fine. <laughs> I have no lungs. She collapses to the floor. Her glassy eyes watch, unblinking, yet somehow still full of anguish and fear as the two of you perish together. I suppose we were never gonna get a happy ending here, were we? Well... Don't let those be your final thoughts. You saved the world. That's worth something. Can you have better final thoughts? Um, uh, uh, I think it's like, oh, uh, it's horrible. No, that's just a random war. Uh. I guess. I guess. Well, regardless of how you feel about it, it's finally over. Thank you. Everything goes dark, and you die. What? Chapter 3? <laughs> On a path in the woods. And at the end of the What the fuck? Okay, what the hell is that? I was really surprised. That I just got a Steam Achievement too. Like for God Killer. It was like, oh, get the ending. I was like, oh, cool. Now we get to do it again. Um. What in the actual fuck? I think he's upset. And what's he got to be upset about? We just killed a god. Exactly. You heathens destroyed the most beautiful thing that ever was, and ever will be. Um... You're damn right we did. And you'll get over it. That's a new guy! <laughs> okay. Can't say I have much sympathy for you. She was bad for us and you almost got us killed. You're being too generous. He did get us killed. Well, that other guy's sad, but you're just kind of a dick, man. Alright, enough chatter got a thing I'm supposed to do, and if you don't mind, I'd like to do it without any more interruptions. Okay, great, you're listening. <clears throat> you're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path... This game's fucking that, crazy. If your thing is telling us about the princess, don't waste your breath. We know all about her, and it's hardly a path in the woods at this point, is it? Well, this is just great. <sighs> Let me cut to the chase. Clearly, you've already been here. Yeah, you think? Uh, actually, I, I don't think we have been here. Dude, you are just trying to be a problem. This is all different, isn't it? Shit, okay, that is a good point. Yes, precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that. Oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. If you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a path what? in the woods. If reality seems distorted, it's because reality is distorted. This kind of reminds me of how, like, all a Slimesicle stream actually is, is like, it's like I'm just broadcasting like a big pulsating meat pile, but because your brain can't really put it together, the way it sort of like interprets the sounds and like motions and things as a stream of a video, it's, it's a little bit like that. So as soon as you know, you'll see it. You're probably seeing it right now. Yeah, but you can still, uh, it's, it's okay. You can still come back. So you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to restart like this. I know all sorts of things, which is why you should listen to me. What the fuck? That's not really an answer. <sighs> Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things seriously. Okay, third tries the charm. Tell me what the fuck's happening, dude. I can't. Anything I say at this point is far more likely to accelerate the unraveling of this place than it is to actually help you do your job. In fact, I probably shouldn't have even said that. The unraveling of this place. I trust that if you've been here before, it means you know how dangerous she is. And that you know I'm not lying to you about her. Okay. Really? That's it. That's all we're getting out of you. I'm starting to think that maybe the princess and I are trapped in this situation and the narrator is an outside party that is, that is getting something out of this. I don't know. He just wants to keep things going the way they are. 
but we've been given a second chance to do right by her. She can build something better than this. She can build something better than us. We just have to let her do it. I get it. You're conflicted. You've been through a lot, but I really have to be firm here. I will tell you one thing, which is that even now, you are capable of stopping her and saving the world from ruin. You always have been, and you always will be. Do with that what you will. Always will be? If I don't slay her and we hit this point of no return, what happens? Are you going to tell me? Then what happens? Have you even been listening? It's the end is what happens. Yeah, but is there something after the end? How am I supposed to know? The end means finality. It's not like I can just peek on over to the other side and tell you what it's like there. If there even is a there, it doesn't matter because we're going to win. All right, this guy might be kind of hype after now all. That's exactly the sort of mindset I like to see. Don't let yourself be consumed with self-doubt. Don't flirt with oblivion. Just focus on the present and everything will be absolutely fine. Okay. Maybe I just say this, yeah, like, fucking please. I know you're really gonna wanna be stubborn, or you're really gonna wanna be pathetic, and you're really gonna wanna slash grovel on the ground, but please listen to me. So what if I'm speaking my mind? It's not like I've ever really gotten a say in things. Okay, man. So much of this is because of you. What a crock of shit. <laughs> yeah, you stabbed us last time. Repeatedly. It didn't even work. It doesn't count. We died! If you didn't submit to her, for all we know, that wouldn't have happened. It's the punishment you all deserved for not listening to me. Aside from our sulking friend, I don't think you have much to worry about. You're still the one in charge here, and I don't think that's ever gonna change. Second he tries something, I'll put a stop to it. Okay. Let's do it. I'm done with this turn around and leave, bro! The world is meat! Where are you going to go, Beef Lake? We gotta go to the cabin. Good. We're all on the same page. Oh, that's not right. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the park, staring up at the cabin on the hill. You'll find the princess within, as I'm sure you already know. End her. This looks like a spine. Why the whole world give him birth? Why the ground a placenta? That's it? No final words of advice? I'd rather not waste any more time. I'm sure that any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. Hi. If there's still a princess at the cabin, maybe we can. No, he actually won. Oh my god. Maybe if we just grovel and apologize, things can go back to how they were before. You, are, you, are, you just, are, you literally, I always, we always want to do something fun on the weekends, and you always just want to grovel. Chill out, voice of the broken, please. Oh, cut it out, will you? We need to be tough right now, and you're making it so much harder than it has to be. So stop whining. Okay, here we go. All right. The interior of the okay. cabin is a place that feels long forgotten. There was once an elegance to its construction. Carved marble columns holding a high arched roof. Vaulted windows letting in the weak starlight. Yeah, yeah, all because she punched me in the jaw really hard and I was super weak about it. But not now, not now. But that is how it was. Now there is a growth that has overtaken it. A viscous fluid seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of living meat. Ah, uh, aren't we all? That's horrible. <laughs> you did this. Bro. The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You always do say that. But I already killed her. I already killed her, man. You didn't mention the mirror last time either. A mirror? There is no mirror. There's the pedestal, the blade sitting on the pedestal, and the door to the basement. Just tell us where the door is. I'd like to get back to fighting, and if you want us to kill her so bad, I'm sure you feel the same. No more messing around. I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I would know if there was a mirror. You're either seeing things, or you're confused on the definitions of door no. and mirror. Or you're seeing that seems far more likely. What are you trying to say, exactly? It's in a different style than everything, too. It's not like this. It's not the same. It's not, like, wavering and sketchy. He thinks we've lost it. That we're succumbing to madness. That something in us has broken. That's an unnecessarily melodramatic way to describe a hallucination, but sure. I'm not going to waste time arguing with any of you. It went away after we touched it last time. Let's just... Do it again. Let's not touch it, right? Let's 
push the mirror. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. You really don't, do you? How strange. It really is, just like last time. Are we huh. really hallucinating? Why here? Why now? Smash it. Smash it to pieces. It's the only thing keeping us from her. Okay, tier three. Don't you want to know what we'll see in there? We won't be able to see anything if we smash it. Nah, I'm with him on this one. Smash it. Let's get violent already. Wipe the mirror clean. Yeah, sure. You reach forward and drag your hand across the door leading to the mm. basement. Yes. As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping okay. against the stone floor, I'm not gonna be able to its ancient this. hinges moaning as it reveals the dim oh. path ahead. Why am I not surprised? We forgot Just the code! Oh, shit, what about the no! Hey, princess. <laughs> The stairs Kinda leading down to the basement to are at once both oh, narrow okay. and grandiose. A high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, while walls wet with tumorous Oops. growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped, at once okay. exposed and claustrophobic. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna need to respec. Uh, wait, fist built. The air is thick, its odor an oppressive violence. Mm. The metallic mm. scent of fresh blood twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Good thing I aced bashing 202. Her voice, because it's bellowing tough. rage, roars up the stairs. Oh, fuck. Was severing the tendons of my ascension not enough for you? Was it not enough to rend my divine heart? Can I get back to you that on that in a second? I left my knife at home. Come see the horrors you've wrought upon my flesh and feel my hands set upon your throat. Oh, no. She's so angry with us. Why? Why did you desecrate her? Oh my Why God, this guy. I stop you. You've got to stop thinking about her like that. It isn't doing anyone any good. She's not some untouchable god. She's an abomination. And we're going to put an end to her once and for all. Well, I'd sure love to, man. Um, but I, 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 I did a little oopsie. It's our fault. If she's an abomination, then what does that make us? It doesn't matter what we are. She needs slaying. And we've got the means to do it, so let's get a move on. You're waffling from bro voice of the yapper, guys. If I might interject, <laughs> you didn't make her into an abomination. She's always been what she is. It's why you're here, and it's why your task is so important. Okay, let's go. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. The chamber's walls are painted in blood. Okay, that's actually kind of badass. I'm sickening not red that drips down in clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks of torment, of ripped that's like skin objectively and so <laughs> bone. The princess stands in its center, muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped in a tattered dress of her own skin. Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. Okay. Do I still have time to maybe go upstairs? Do you know what I'm going to do to you? Yes? There's not so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. What? Blood drips from the place where metal meets flesh. And then, uh. with a nauseating sound... The oh, God! It drops to the ground, and she pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. Oh, shit, she degloved. She is loose, and she is coming for you. I love the knife upstairs. Let her end it. It's the punishment you all deserve for what you did to her. It's the punishment oh, I deserve for letting it happen. Oh, fuck. Screw that. We can win. We've done it before, and we'll do it again, only this time we'll make it out the other side. Hell, she's practically done most of the work for us. Uh... We don't even have a weapon. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I refuse to go out any way that isn't kicking and screaming. Pa -pa -pa. Damn. The old one-two punch guy on the head. Um, please just listen to me. Hey! <laughs> like, what's your deal? Time happened. 
you happened, but none of that matters. We're together again, and I'll have my pound of flesh. You'll need more than a pound. She bounds across the oh, room, shit. her fists ready, her heart set upon your destruction. All right, let's go! A horrifying <laughs> squelch. You are unwound. Uh, she, I think she hit me with a true combo. I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. We are. Huh. I feel cold. I've never felt cold before. So we are. Okay, yeah. Oh! What? True to her word, you do not die by her hand. Something has taken her away, and it's left something else in her place. She's gone. What the Where does she go? Fuck? Should we try and find her? And oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? The narrator's gone. He is. Does that mean the world ended? The world didn't end. We're still here. Come on. We just need to keep going. Love this guy. He's always keeping it real. Figures the world would end and leave us with all this Hate nothing. this guy. He's always keeping it a little, like, real, but sad. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror, boys. Something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. Screw the mirror! We just need to find the princess! Why... Is the gang so scared about it? I don't want to look at us. I'm begging you, don't do this. I'm begging you. I mean, I never scared you before, man. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. Okay. Approach the mirror. Okay, it's in your reflection. I'm a weird bird thing, right? It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. You are alone in a place that is empty. It's quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. You're at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Okay. Vibe has shifted. I see she's going for a lot more of a hands-on approach this time. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Oh shit, stupid. How many questions do I get? What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Nuh-uh. Solitary lights. Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. A network. Oh shit, okay. I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. So there's this guy, he's like in my noggin? It's kind of like a stream of consciousness, except I don't have one. Usually I just think like water, 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 food, food, pee pee nest. But he makes like big sentences, do you know who that is? You are the only thing I have ever known. Well, that's kind of sweet. Sorry, the space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. The gift of a fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is desecration. She placed the weight of her agony on you. Yet it is she who unwound herself. But there is passion and empathy in her misery. Desecration. She will make for a burning heart. Oh, shit. Okay. Do not mourn her. She has finally found peace. You're not the princess, huh? I don't know, are you? She is part of me. And part of me is her. Well, that makes a lot of sense. That's a pretty good question. You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Oh god, free will. Oh fuck, it's a free will. Oh shit, I'm a bird. It makes sense. It's like... Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Don't think so, but I can ask. I have only just now stirred to consciousness. 
I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, hmm. longing, hope as I witness you. Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Like my little tiny pocket dimension that I stream from? My little box? The basement, the, the viewer's basement I happen to be in right now? I know only that they are. Okay. Let her out of there! Give her back! Why would I say- she's kicked the shit out of- you know what? Let her out of there. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Creature of perception. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. Yeah, that's what I figured. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Well, who the fuck is the narrator? I would love to help. Are you gonna end the world though? You oh. ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. I guess that's a perspective, but not really an answer. I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Well, I guess it's really just a question of do I want to help birth an eldritch god? And the answer is fuck yes. She asks let's that I tell you <laughs> to remember her. Let's do it. Oh, that's kind of, well, probably not in a sweet way, because we did kick the shit out of each other for like 50 minutes. You won't. Damn. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. This game's fucking And in the basement crazy. of that cabin okay. is a princess. Okay. <laughs> You're here to slay her. And here we're back at the beginning. Let's try and learn some more about the narrator, I think. Maybe she only wants to end the world because she's locked up. While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Well, who put her in the basement, bud? Can't someone else do this? Unfortunately, you're the only one who can pull this off. I don't make the rules. I wish I did, but I don't. Okay. I'm just going to be like snarky. Thanks for telling me what to do. Yeah. Appreciate don't it. mention it. It's all part of the job. Fuck! Oh no! You I was. Uh... Up the short path to the cabin. <laughs> You'll find the princess. Slash ass! Slash ass! I'm gonna like just play this honestly. The blade is your implement. I know this. I'll need it if I want to do this right. But do I want to do it right? Nah. Let's just fucking talk to her. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Is that a different vo It's so weird that it feels different. What? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Oh, it's all perspective, isn't it? So because I've changed how I approach this, it's, he sees it how he wants to. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous what? game by coming here unarmed. Is she gonna be a different person? Hey, I think I'm maybe here to slay you? I, you must have the wrong address. Oh, my bad. Great job. You've given away <laughs> the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat uh, to anyone? Let's try and approach this neutrally, okay? <laughs> All right, mister? I am begging you to stay focused. Let's just, There's a lot riding on you here. Somewhere, somewhere in the middle, boys. Somewhere in the middle. 
Hi. You were joking about coming to kill me, right? Do, uh, no, do you think really. you could get me out of these chains? Okay, so here's the thing. Let's just, like, talk up a little bit. Okay. Uh, this seems like a normal thing. What's your name? That seems like a good place to start. Oh. She pauses, carefully formulating her words know? before she responds. I'm gonna go. Okay. You can address me as your royal nope. highness. Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. You don't know. Is princess her name or her title? What if it's both? <laughs> Could you imagine being named Princess Princess? Yeah, well. My parents named me Charlie Slimesick also, yeah, it's not. So is Princess your name? Like I said, you can call me Princess if you'd like. Okay, it doesn't really help. I'm sorry, I've been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name, though. Everyone has a name. What's my name? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> she hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. You're barely gonna end the world! Isn't that crazy? It, is that why they threw me down here? Who's they? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. She seems pretty honest. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I'm sure she won't become a dark god. I've been down here for so out. long. Okay. That's... How long has she been locked away? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? I was hoping you'd tell me, maybe. That would be great. I don't know how to destroy the world, if that's what you're getting at. I do. <laughs> and it would all... It would just fall apart. It's I believe her. 100% my power. Oh my god, dude, come on. You are just like the yapper right now. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. All right, that's, we're, hang on. <laughs> You're taking some heavy strides right now. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. I don't trust that, and I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. Well, she has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. I guess I don't remember anything canonically. Oh, yeah, 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 maybe. Why don't, okay, so now you did your turn. Now I'm going to gaslight you. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. Well, this is a little bit. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. <laughs> okay, all right. You are in a, well, you know, you can at least illuminate why you're down here in a cabin. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? I don't know, there's a lot of questions, not a lot of things ending in periods. We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here. Why is that? And it's whoever sent you here. And those two groups are probably one and the same. I don't know. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. Ah, subjugating monarch. If I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? That's a pretty good question. Did people come and give you stuff? I don't see what that has to do with anything. Just curious. This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. Is it? Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about you. Goddamn. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. I don't actually know what that reason is, but... You don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation, right? You have so all I'm the explanation <laughs> you need, and you should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. Let's just, let's, like, let's just like chill maybe for a bit? Let's pump the brakes. Pump the brakes on this Ford F-150, come on. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Yeah, sure. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Okay, well, you've already done it for an indefinite amount of time. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. So I'm the only one who liked that idea. <sighs> well, one way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. All right, intensity has upped. But if you don't, I can promise that you'll regret that decision. Quick. 
you have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Okay. What you do is based on my perception of what you can do. Which means that if I trust you, you're trustworthy. And if I lock you up, you're going to escape. And if I attack you, you're going to attack me. So I trust you. And you're very, very not suspicious, kind eyes. You can't be serious. Thank you. Thank you. You won't regret this, I promise. There's no way I could be wrong about this. You're making a huge mistake. It's based... It's based... And I'm no. based. I think you're doing the right thing. Okay, here we go. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Yeah, says you. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Say they're weak and sad and scrawny and that I'm huge and muscular narrator. Please, Sam, just say I chulk. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Okay. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Or would they? I did not expect to get this invested in this game. It's actually really good. And if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? Um, couldn't hurt. Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Yeah, that makes sense. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. Well, let's try not to do that. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. Get out of my head. Stay stay on the track. Stay on the track. Stay on the track. Her perception, my perception, her perception, my perception. Lock in, lock to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. Fuck. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? Um... Try the, try the door, but it's locked from the outside. It's you, motherfucker! You're in here! Let me out of here! Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. Okay. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Oh, says you. Fine. Fine. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Didn't feel like it, and my hands are very sweaty. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. It's really not that much of a mess. Like, it could be so much worse. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Oh shit, I didn't think about that. Oh fuck. There's a slight panic <laughs> rising in the princess. We're gonna place. fucking die! We're gonna fucking die, please! You gotta get me out of here! You gotta get me out of here! No, we could force our way out of you here. God help me, please! God help! Please, I don't wanna die! I don't wanna die! She barely ah! before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Fucking Jesus Christ! As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Okay, narrator, you really want me to do that? Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. It's wolf rules. 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 <gasps> Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on Why the princess's so okay arm, with it? Why just above so okay the unyielding chain binding her to this place. Yeah, there's no way to break that chain, huh? You cut into her flesh. Yeah. The blade is sharp, and it takes oh, little effort really to crack through the shit. bone of her she arm. She really does not give a shit. Her limb falls to the ground and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. Nope, she's going. Cool no, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, oh, well, this is blood nice. from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically <laughs> to the ground. Oh, you need a bad name. Spider-Man or Elsa? How is she still is smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Uh, um, she's just quirky like that? Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Okay. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. I 
can't just let her escape into the world. Oh? As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Oh, shit. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. What are you doing? Uh uh Slay the princess, slay the princess, slay the princess, slay the princess. Warn her. Let's do that one. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? D the British act- the, Brit the, the British gene is activated! Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. I'm sorry about what I'm The princess blood. dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Thank you, I'm a weird bird thing. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. Oh, come on. She's got such kind eyes, though. So, princess, resist, resist. Okay, let's resist. Let's the resist. blade. Move the blade. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. You should come that close right now, though. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly <laughs> rigid hands. What are you doing? Okay, all right, no, please put that down. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. Wait, hang on. Could you just put that down for a sec? Because right now you kind of, it sort of seems like you're in a stabbing position. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and oh, sinew. Right. It is <laughs> Okay. But you aren't dead yet. Nope. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, I think you just slipped on something. I think you just slipped. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. I think, no, I think you just slipped. For her sake? Don't you start <laughs> pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Hello, she made an oopsie. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way yep. into your body. Ow. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She's really sorry, though. No. She's really sorry, she not it. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. We all misclick. Every once in a while. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. Um, bye bye It can't just end like this, right? Kinda seems like it will. Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. Oh, but she seems so sad about it. All right. Slime me later. Everything goes dark, and you die. <laughs> Truly will be my last words on this earth. Don't care where I am. Don't care who I'm with. Chapter 2, The Damsel. You're on a path in the woods. Okay. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to that slay her. If you don't... It will be the end of the world. Oh, you bet. You're in for it now, My buddy. tricks. What on earth are you talking about? We just met for the first time. Okay. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Just think of this. Yes, he didn't approve of us last oh, time, Oh, hello. Did he? If we're going to save our <laughs> beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. <laughs> our beloved? Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. What is it, this ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that <laughs> we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. Let's fucking go, dude. We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Why should I bother doing anything if he can just... It's true, why should I do anything if you can just take over? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of me. 
You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. You were the one who did us in, villain. <laughs> well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. I beg to differ. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. Anyway, I believe your second oh, right. question was, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. what's going to be different this time. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Uh oh, the world Do you ended? think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? She would never. <laughs> She's a perfect angel that you cruelly imprisoned as part of some convoluted, dastardly scheme. Alright, this guy's funny. I kind of want to keep him around. Convoluted? I don't know how this premise could be any more simple. Princess bad, stop her, save everyone. Okay. Proceed to the cabin. A warning. Oh. Before you go any further. Yes. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Yeah. We already told you we're not playing <laughs> along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. No, the, dude, the voice of the wretched or whatever was a tier three. This bro is a tier four. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. He has infinite channel points. I do, but I also speak from <laughs> the heart. My passions are too... Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. She could do no wrong. The narrator is untrustworthy and an unreliable narrator. She has kind eyes. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant. Oh, its okay. stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries. A prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right get that a lot. The mirror is still there. Let's just approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. Mm. Same thing. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope there was a mirror a second ago. It's still there this time. And now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have oh, a feather out of place. Oh, what the fuck? It did not disappear. Oh, it did. Shit. Very different. Mm -hmm. Is it? I can't say I was paying much attention to the scenery last time. I had my eyes locked on the prize. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you're finally so focused. All right, here we go. Not taking the knife. We're locking it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight, but it's still a stone basement. Because if the princess lives welcoming. here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I love the art style. It's a soft voice carries up the stairs. My dear. Hello. Is someone there? I've come her to voice. rescue you. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. Okay. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this. Yes, I'm for coming, sweetie sake, Pookie. You're not in love. <laughs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. Your gaslighting is my favorite and lock part eyes of you. With the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. Nothing compared to our love. 
my love. We're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? <laughs> she may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so <laughs> worried you wouldn't come back. Oh my god. Do you hear that? She said we're dashing. Dashing to the chapel to be wed! And she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her, it was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. She didn't even know how to do it. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What? What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Dude, I kind of don't know. I sort of want to get hitched and also burn an eldritch entity a little bit. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? I didn't see it. We never saw a world end, and now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic (laughs) and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Why are we listening to the scientists? Are you listening to Follow your heart! And you know what they say? If you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. I'm coming! What does it say? I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? I'm gonna ask. I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists, and indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. Do I have my have, have pocket Vaseline? What? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Yes, I can. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with <laughs> any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's completely normal. She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? <laughs> that's our stoic, smiling Completely angel. normal. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. Completely normal. Completely normal that she's responding to me exactly the way. Narrator sent me here to kill you, took over my body. It was extremely unfair. The other version of me was pushed to such drastic action. It was for good reason. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. Why the fuck did the narrator... Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I understand. They're all internal voices, and then my choices are the real voice that I I do. She took that in stride. To a surprising extent. Mm. An almost unsettling extent, actually. I actually forgot to read that. That's because she's perfect. Oh, right, that sounds good to me. You think she has someone like him telling her what to do? Don't worry about it. She doesn't. There's no one else like me. All right. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. What happened after I died is a pretty good question. You died, and now we're talking. Uh, okay, but before we start talking. I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Well, hang on. Because we'll be able to find out if she can end the world. If we say yes. Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. <laughs> My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Oh, my Are you goodness. you listening to her? That's a confession. No, it's... I have no feelings one way or the other. Okay, she responds to what we do. So if we are completely neutral, she'll be neutral, which means she won't take action towards it. Maybe I don't want the world. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Then I didn't end the world. What? Well, okay. See, she didn't confess anything. She is <laughs> innocence itself. I'm not so sure. No, she checks out to me. Why'd you do that? I'm sorry. Didn't you want me to? Um. Did we? Kind of would have referred to different We solution. warned her of the cruel forces seizing our body. That's practically telling her to kill us. <laughs> she is our beloved, 
and she made the choice to free us of our misery, to show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. God bless her. She America. made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. Good for her. All right, let's no. rescue her. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You what? what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. <laughs> my passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. Oh shit, I'm so dead. You wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, dude, I've been here before. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and gently <laughs> slide her hand from They're her so They're so small. That They're so dainty. I'll be damned. They're so dainty. They're so We're small. Doomed. They're so small. I can't dainty. believe it. But I guess I have to. Pocket vessel and Vaseline comes in clutch. I'm just so wet. I'm just so constantly wet and damp. Slipping and sliding around. Just so moist. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. God damn. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a <laughs> joyful embrace. He's so best. He's so best. Only you had a weapon. One slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone oh, out there would be she's saved. Just for the she's just for the Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. There you go. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? I'm a fucking bird. What do we do now? Um, I don't know. Want to go to Five Guys and end the fucking world? What do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? That'd be kind of funny. Spoken with the rank cynicism <laughs> of someone who has never felt love in his heart. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. Well, what do you want to do? She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave. And I think... Uh-huh. The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. Okay, all right. I'm ready. And I'm ready to do it with you. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? What? Do you want to end the world? <laughs> Tell me what you want to do. I just want to make you happy. What? She so can't just want to make us happy. It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same for us. Uh, princess? Why are your eyes so large? Do you want to end the world? Are you seriously <laughs> asking that? Oh, we've been over this one. No, I do not want to end the world. Well, that's great. But we'll make you happy. I just want to make you happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, there must be something you want. I just want to make you happy. You just want something more, right? Oh, God, oh, God. Okay, I'll find something else to want if that makes you happy. No. Is it just me, or does it feel like we're alone right now? Like we're the only ones here? She went from PewDiePie Day 100 drawing to PewDiePie Day 10. Pookie Bear, come back! You don't get the chance to ask another question, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. No. She was our perfect match. Well, fuck. She's gone. Well, she, was, she didn't really have much Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a... Never. Why is it here? Why now? Oh, it's just the voices that forget her. What the actual fuck? But it feels so bad. Like, looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yes, I fear that we won't like oh, what we'll no. see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt, right? The gas lit and becomes the gaslight. It's okay, I'll see you on the other side. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. She'll uh -huh. be there waiting for us. I just know it. Don't even worry about it, guys. Don't even worry. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've grown.
Okay, I don't know. You, honestly, you can take this one. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and yeah, movement. I don't really You can honestly. I, I don't know. You can have this one. This one kind of was freaking me out a little bit. Weirdly, more than like the. The, like, god without skin? I don't know. So you Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. I'm growing too? What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. What are your thoughts on this one? This Cheers. one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. I molded her to love... Okay, so it is kind of how I thought. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. I won't. I, she was freaking me out. <laughs> how many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. You will have your rest in due time, and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. When this is done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be, and every exploration yields new and complicated truths. Pretty vague what answer. I will be is different than what I am. Pretty vague what I answer. Am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. Well, I guess that's what it is to be. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. It's probably true. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but they are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more, and you are something more than that, too. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. I love the amount of artists in chat, like, holy shit, look at those hands! Look at those grippers, goddamn! The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. Okay. They are useless to us now. Okay. Inaccessible. Why? The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Why are they inaccessible? Pookie Bear, why can we not access them? Even kinder to me, oh yeah, why? Because I'm, I'm feeding you people. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. What if I don't want to bring you any more vessels? What if I just want to wait here forever? Then we will remain here as we are now. Barely finished. Damn. Cavernous. Okay. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Wait forever. You are as I am now. And forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. Probably well, forever is a long time. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? I'm just, I'm just thinking it through. If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage. All right. How, how mad are we you'll getting? You'll always come back to the box. Because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. Okay. Oh. The game closed. You have returned to me. Though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. Chat? Am I real? I swear to God my streams aren't just a scam where I milk subs out of you and then pretend that it crashes and just hold the- I'm not chat. It looks like it crashed again. All right. Good stream, everyone. Thanks for coming. Everything went dark and you died. And here we go again. And here we go again.
You're on a path in the woods. We know how this goes. And you're here to slay her. What's our perspective this time? Viva la revolution. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. The spirit. Off with her head. Let's take the blade this time. Who's there? Hey, just checking in on you. Oh, it's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? What? No way. That's ridiculous. Is what I would say if I was a loser. No. -uh. Then drop the knife. We should. It'll go a long way to building trust with her. Don't you dare. Let's drop it. Let's drop it. <sighs> the blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. She doesn't sound like she wants to just talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. Maybe she's just totally unaware of how she sounds. Don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. It's all perspective, what do you perceive? Okay, so she's got a- she's taking a weird tone with me, so I'm gonna take a weird tone with her also that, like, gives her, like, killer vibes. Yeah, it's, uh, pretty awkward. I know. I just said that. <laughs> now why are you here to kill me? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? <laughs> that laugh. I think I'm in love. Yeah, that- uh, that is a concerning face. I have no idea. To be honest, well, I don't even know why I'm down here, or how I got here. I was kind of hoping you might be able to shed some light on the whole situation. Do you- do you know why I'm here to kill you? Do you? I don't know, do you? Nuh uh. You're lying. Shit! Don't think that just because I'm the one in chains, it means you have a right to interrogate me. You're so intense! How would I even get you out of here? You're chained to the wall. You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't, mm -hmm. well, we can always put that knife to good use. Insane way to say that. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. Because you're gonna be gonna get one fucking old mother off. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? Definitely is. She is. I'm sure of it. Well, we've we've talked enough. We've talked enough. I'm gonna say it in a way where it sounds like I'm gonna do something awesome, but it's, I'm still not clear what I'm gonna do. We've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? I was actually just checking my cuticles too, so whatever. I don't know if we can do the same thing accidentally twice, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna keep riding out whatever this weird, combative vibe is. Why don't we just keep staring at each other and being mean? One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. Maybe you can make it easier for both of us if you don't help. And if you don't... And if you do... I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Maybe my choice of locking her in the basement? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get her out of here. She's given me... That's the most murder eyes I think anyone could physically give. This is the closest to slaying her, so let's do this. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work if we just stay here and keep watch. No one has to die. Gazoon tight? Yeah. Hope these chains are on Gazoon tight. You're making a mistake. Mm, I don't think I am. You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Well, you stayed in there so far, so I doubt you'd just be able to slip out. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. Oh, there's no option to... Well, that actually sounds like a great idea, but for some reason, no. I'm going to lock her in here, and she's definitely not going to get out, because that would be crazy. You'll be the death of all of us, but fine. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Yeah, I feel good about that. That'll hold. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. I'd really rather probably just go home. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. Uh... But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make the 
things easier on yourself and let me out. Fuck, she about to go XLR. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Um, it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. Why are you saying it like that? Look, every, every side is my good side. Please don't kill me. She sounds... Please don't kill me. Terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. I'm sure it's fine, I'm sure it's fine, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, okay, no Ubers, maybe a lift, maybe a call. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. She's gonna fucking, she's gonna fucking tear me apart like rotisserie chicken, we gotta go. No, the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No. We could have done like a slightly better job with the table. Ignore her and go to sleep, he's insane. So all of that was an act, wasn't it? You're, see, really I win here because you were trying to trick me. I could be innocent and harmless if I want to be. Teasing me with fresh air and a chance to finally live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. Okay. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can. Well, I'm gonna take a nap. Against the wall. So, <laughs> if you wanna take a time out. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar. No, it's a door. It's lock broken, and the table shoved out of the way. I don't think we're gonna slay the princess tonight. Thank oh, God, God, what the fuck? Basement. Oh, shit, she's a straight up fucking ghost. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. The paralysis comes in waves. First, your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin. Unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Okay. Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. Please do, though. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? Please don't eat me. She steps closer. <gasps> oh, Jesus one Christ! Foot fall at a time, oh, cocking fuck. her head in curiosity as you feel you your organs like fly down one by one. My organs? Oh no, my little kid knows. Oh my lever, please. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. Slipsicle. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here. We could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. Why does she look like she's at my ring doorbell at fucking 3 a.m.? I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end, don't we? But it's not, though. I'm gonna come back and I think you're gonna be worse. It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. You spooky bitch. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Oh God. Oh, what the hell? What the hell ending if I just a path in put the myself woods, in? And at the end of that path is a cabin. Oh. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Oh, what the hell path did I just put myself on? <laughs> oh, this is a bad way. This is a womp womp route, Chad, I think for sure. You're here to slay her. <clears throat> yep. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Yep, maybe should have listened to that a little bit sooner. Okay, no, I'm down, I'm, I'm good. Oh, don't you start <laughs> I'm good. grandstanding about morals. Good. The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life of a mere princess shouldn't stop you from saving us all. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. Shh. What if he hears us? Oh, we got a paranoid. Oh, man. That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. <laughs> I think you'll find yourselves very hard pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because, like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save, after all. How's the cabin looking? A warning. Before you go any further. Yep, she'll lie, she'll cheat. She'll give me the. She will lie, 
She's she will cheat. Bored. Yep, she, I, I don't know. think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. Oh, God, here we go. Wait a second. If the voice of the paranoid is in my head, and the voice of the hero is in my head, and the narrator's talking to me out here, and she's in the cabin, then Plus, who's watching Fox? The only furniture of note is a lone table knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. What about the, the blade is your implement. Hold on. Yeah. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. There was? It's just an empty frame. Mm-hmm. She's already gotten out, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? Oh, Pirate's Cove is wide open. What the fuck is in the windows? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. This is how it feels, this is how it feels to stream to you guys. She's all peering in through the windows. So deep breath in, okay. deep breath out. Your task awaits, mm-hmm. and only you can do it. All right, feel good about that. Maybe we give the mirror a peek? You walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Okay. Is it the same as before? You reach yeah. forward and rub your... Did he make it go away? Oh. Clearly there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. Huh. Well, we're definitely taking the blade you this reach time. Down and pick the blade up off the floor. That's for sure. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Don't you come gonna slay Steel can't lie to us. No, but it can steal. Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something, I don't know, better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? <laughs> the blade is the only thing you no, need, need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. I've got none. I've got none. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Please give me a ghost bomb. Let's enter the basement. <laughs> you cross over the threshold oh, okay. and onto a series of isolated steps, suspended in darkness. This feels worse. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static. As if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Uh-huh. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. What does it sound like this time? Oh, I didn't think, think you'd, you'd come, come back. back. We're, We're gonna, gonna have, have a lot of fun, fun, you and I. I'm not having a lot of fun right now, princess, yo. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. How hard is it to throw a knife? <laughs> it can't be that hard. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna fucking die. But then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place. I don't think so, I think she's gonna haunt us. It'll be enough. Okay, I'm gonna talk to her? I think the moment's over. I think it's over. <laughs> You attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch black surrounding them, but you're stopped by an invisible force. Why did you do that? What did you think think I was going to... (laughs) I was curious. Congratulations, you really lucked out. Of all the things that could have happened from stepping into a void, nothing is quite possibly the best outcome you could have gotten. I just... maybe... maybe the... maybe I could have gotten some pearls. Some ender pearls. Maybe the... uh, maybe I could get the real ending. You can make your way to the bottom of the stairs. Hello. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks, suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones, visible against the inky black of the basement, what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. Seems like a pretty cut and dry... She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Excuse me, I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing (laughs) whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. Yeah, this is what 99% of my Minecraft houses end up looking like. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Just fucking nonsense. Please stop saying that. 
You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. Okay. I wouldn't give it too much thought if oh. I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Oh, she's doing the- that's the horror. That's, she's gonna kill the shit out of me. Fuck this. <laughs> you turn back to the stairs, only to find that they aren't there. Oh no, sir! A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. Whoa! I told you I was going to find you. Que es eso? Que es eso? Hija del diablo. As the princess approaches, oh, what the fuck is that? your legs suddenly go numb. I didn't even get to I didn't even pick a path, woman! Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? Again? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. I'm gonna throw it at you! There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think! Oh, the mask is really cool, though. Chat, objectively, you cannot fix her. What did you do? No. Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. Yeah, what? We, we can talk to her. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. As your blood begins to coagulate, Fucking Jesus it's as Christ. if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. My internal lungs. monologue every time. Oh, I'm staring at the go live button. Your lungs pull in oh. a desperate gulp lungs. of air as your eyes shoot back open. Lungs. Heart. What lungs. the fuck? What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want? To and then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want? Or you want to interrupt me some more? Dude, okay, paranoid's actually popping up right now. You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. What the fuck? Nerves. Lungs. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. Heart. Can't decide what you want to do, can you? Nerves. Well, I kind of don't really want to die. Also, shout out heart, lungs, liver, 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 liver. Nerves. Oh, well. Heart. Standing there gasping lungs. like a fish is more fun liver. than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. You're a fish. She isn't attacking us. Nerves. Why? That's a good question. The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. It's true. She's just kind of hanging out. Can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down thing, please? I really like my heart, lungs, liver, and nerves. I am what I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. All right, that's fair, I guess. Why won't you kill me then? Why won't you just like fucking kill me? Because I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Okay, fair enough too. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. You all, that's kind of fucked to say. That's a little uh, mean. The princess leans forward. Bring her mask lips close to your ear. Oh, that's a lot of teeth you've got. If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. Oh, God. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Shit, shit, make her stop. Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart... Lungs, liver, nerves, heart. The four essential body parts. You're back. Lungs, uh, liver, one nerves, moment, heart, and then lungs, you're gone. Liver, nerves, Just heart, like lungs, that. Liver, nerves, ah, heart, lungs, and there's the fear. Heart, liver, Why are you saying it like that? Why are you doing a little finger point? She pulls away. Lungs, but that wouldn't be liver, very fun, nerves, now would it? Heart, lungs, I've already done that. Nerves, oh, you read more too. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave, and I'm not going to try and kill you, so do your worst is insane. Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare? We did ask about it. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Let's throw the blade. It'll be absurd. Let's go. Let's go. You fling the blade into the void, denying yourself the opportunity to ever slay her and finish your mission. Lungs. If nobody's happy here, but maybe it's for the best. Nerves. You poor deluded thing. Do you think a single moment of bravery changes you into something you're not? I 
am what I am, and you're always going to be a coward. No, uh, I just threw it wrong. Give it back. I'll do it again. She raises a hand to her mask and pulls it down. Oh my Jesus, fuck. You don't get the chance to see what lies beneath before it envelops you. Like a creeping mold, the complete reality of your existence threads its way through your mind. Birth. Death. Birth again. Decay and bloom. A million stitches from a million microscopic wounds you've inflicted on everyone you've ever met, with every muscle you've moved and every word you've ever spoken. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Let me out! <laughs> oh, God! Your existence hurts them. Let me out! A lonely soul in a room by itself, weeping. It lives for 80 years and then it's gone. And then it's there again. What the fuck? Let me out! A reprieve. A good life. Love. Children. A steady career. Recognition from your peers. Oh, big smile. Here one moment. Gone the next. The worms have found their orifices. Oh, this is fucking sick. Let me out! My orifices are closed for housekeeping right now, actually. Diagnosis. It forgets everything it is. Anger. Rage. Distance. Poverty. The lonely soul is lonely again. Love turns to mockery. It dies. It is reborn. Worse. Lonelier. Oh shit, wait. When we're giving these experiences to that entity, is it making it worse for whatever's out here? Oh god. Let. Me. Out! No, 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 no. No, no. What's, what's happening to us? Uh-oh. Let me out! Uh. This is all too much. I can't keep going. The fucking narrator's giving up? You can't keep going? Well, what are you talking about? Oh my god. Oops, I think I broke you. Oh, anyone want to narrate this? I'll see you soon. You'll know what to do. Your body is dead, but you live on. Oh. What the fuck did I do? The moment of clarity? You're on a path in the- Shit! Shit! What? What the hell was that? Who are we? What are we doing? Oh, what did I do? Have I even ever saved this game? I'll save this game. <laughs> there was a princess, I think. Cause I'm starting to get- the, I'm starting to get a little fuzzy. paranoid. It hurts when I try to remember. The voice of the broken is here. You shouldn't know about the princess. At least, not until I... You've already been here, haven't you? Yep, and you gave the fuck up, bro! I guess. It, it feels so long ago, almost like we've never left. Ugh. We have to let her out. Uh-oh. No, that's the opposite of what you're here to do. You have to slay her. Slay? We decided not to do that, didn't we? Yeah, we're supposed to let her out. Who is this guy? It's really the only way this works out for us. If you think about it, she's the one with power here. Nobody else can do much of anything. No, we were supposed to keep her trapped there forever. Oh, everyone is I here. I think. What? We're supposed to be unfeeling. How many times do I have to tell you to snuff out your heart? Oh, these are a lot of voices we've heard, and some we have not ever. We can't be unfeeling. Not when there's so much fear everywhere. There's nothing for us to do. We've already tried everything. All right, fuck our voice of the contrary. No one gives a shit. We love her, so we have to set her free. It's my boy! Let's go! Can we love something that hurts <laughs> us? Can we love something that hurts us? Oh, shit. To be given an ounce of kindness from something so cruel would be more pure than any other love. That's my tier four. Let's go. Why are there so many of us? Oh. There aren't supposed to be so many of us. Usually not, no. This is bad. You need to get a grip. What uh, did you let happen? How many times have you been here? I might have gotten up to a little bit of silliness, narrator, okay? But what, 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 what can I say? I do a little narrating of my own sometimes, all right? Fuck. That's a good question. How many times have you all been here? Yeah. 
Many, 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 many times. Oh? It feels like we've been here forever. But it also feels like we've barely been here at all. It doesn't matter. Okay, you got. You have one thing, I guess you're doing it. Yes, we just have to do uh, what she says okay. and then everything will be fine. It won't. It will be for us. She said so. Um, she's also like a... Like a poltergeist. You're part of everything. If things aren't fine for everything, they won't be fine for you. Yeah. There's no difference between fine and not fine. It just goes on and on. Oh, this is a lot. I've only seen, like, two endings. What the fuck? What does here even mean, if you really think about it? I... what? Shut up. You were here. Every single time. You did your best, really. There's just a pecking order. Oh, I'm a worm. And our cruel and beautiful goddess sits <laughs> atop it. Jesus. Right where she's always belonged. All right, man. I love you, but you gotta tone it down a little bit. You're lucky. What I would give to be able to forget. I've tried to keep them numb. But they're all too soft. A shame, really. If I don't remember what I did, then it couldn't have been me that did it, right? Don't think about that too hard. All it will do is weaken your resolve and make it that much harder for you to slay her. Maybe you're shattered in your own way. Shit! Are you your memories? Or are you the one perceiving the present moment? Okay, voice of the skeptic. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Ugh, here you go philosophizing again. It never goes anywhere. Yes, this is far from the first time you've asked us about consciousness. Who am I? What am I? What is I? Who even cares? They're good questions. Great questions, even. But they don't have any answers. And they all just end in quivering torment. What happened to you, man? It doesn't matter what we do, because we always find her. And if we don't find her, she always finds us. What happened to half of these people? And then she smashes us into smaller pieces. If you all just stopped feeling, we could have been done with this ages ago. What happened to you? What the fuck did you do to you? Your thoughts are far too scattered to rein back in. Your only option is to silence them. Can you make sense of them? There's nothing worth making sense of. They're clearly all traumatized. And yet, you aren't. We break apart, and you stay the same. Yeah, what's your secret? Why can you break the rules when we can't? I feel so disjointed, I don't know if I can pull this off. I don't care Same. how you feel. You have to slay her. Fair You're enough. lucky you haven't been stuck here like the rest of them. What? There's no other way to keep going. You either need to forget, or you need to stop feeling much of anything. They can't do either. Uh-oh. He's not wrong. He's the only smart one left, if you ask me. So he's worse than her. Oh god. Are we just like in a fucking never-ending loop of shattered consciousness? That's fun. Well, let's go to the cabin. You slowly make your way through the umbral forest, bumping against unseen trees as you grasp through the darkness for a way forward. But eventually, okay. you do make it to the cabin. Or rather, you make what? it to the place a cabin should have been. Instead, all you find is an empty hill. What's the mirror doing here? No, no, this isn't right. Wh there's a cabin there. There's always supposed to be a cabin there. Don't ask him about the mirror. He always says he never sees it. True. He always lies. And he always makes it gone. Stay focused. You still have a job to do, and it's best not to be distracted by fraying thoughts. There's no there mirror. is no mirror. You know that as well as I do. Right on. She's still here, buried deep inside the earth. Oh. Just walk up the hill. You always give too much space to the others. It's why you always lose. Lose? What's wrong with giving them space? What if it helps them? What if they need to be heard? They've been heard too much. It's why they are the way they are. Exactly. They are delusions, and all that catering to them will do is drag you down to their level. You have to keep moving. Okay, narrator. Or you could just give up. If your name wasn't the narrator and it was Voice of the Dumbass, we'd be having a different conversation. Who's controlling that text? So, who's, you know, who's saying who's what? Let's approach the mirror. You walk up the hill, hesitating just beyond the bounds of the cabin. Mm -hmm. 
the cabin that isn't there. Uh, nope, but there's a mirror. You've got to clean the mirror, haven't you? You've got to see what's in it. It's just gonna disappear. Again. Smash it to pieces. Oh, she's on the other side. And we have to let her out. It's the only way we can be free. What the fuck is happening right now? It's the only way we can have our thoughts back. Just go around it. Just do something. It doesn't matter what. Proceed? Proceed? Proceed to where? I'm afraid you're going to have to be a little more specific. Not really anything, man. That's a new one. Do you think it'll work? Yeah, maybe. Of course it'll work. He always makes the best decisions. It's why he gets to make them. And it already has worked. It's gone, don't you oh, see? what the fuck, dude? We're one step closer to her. The interior of the cabin is much the same as the exterior of the cabin. A dull, Big air fuzzy, on this dream-like one. nothing. It's empty and isolating, but there's just enough vague shape and unknown texture to suggest the structure therein. Wrong and unsettling as it may be, the only object of note is a pristine blade buried in the dirt floor, a hint of its shining edge teasing through the sediment. All right. The blade is your implement. You'll need, need it, it if you're going to do this right. right. Yeah. Let's give it a yoink. It. It's the only way forward. Take the blade. It's the only way forward. You've already tried everything else. Don't you remember? You have to take the blade. Take the blade. You reach down to take the blade, but oh. as you do... The ground beneath it shifts, the weapon sinking deep into the earth. Okay? Why? What sea level are you going to? Broken back! You lean over the hole and gaze into the abyss. It is so very deep. Deep in the bowels of the earth, oh. you see something staring back at you. It fills you with dread. Oh, that's miserable. It's a... Uh... Yep. She's watching us. She never stops watching us. Yeah. You really are a coward. I tried to take the knife to be fair. With every word she speaks, the oh, princess what the in fuck? the pit blinks closer. I said that way back when. You know that, right? Oh, okay, thanks. Closer. Oh. I was having some fun, and I guess I wanted to see if I could melt you. Melt you? Like cheese? Oh! Watching over me forever? That was so brave. Was it? Closer. Oh, you have a lot of hands, lady. Wow! But forever is so, so long. And time erodes everything. Except for me. <laughs> I've already taken your will, and you're not getting it back. Whose will? I would love this way to take my will. And me what? Me. It'll be so much fun, you and me, together, exploring the world and spreading fear wherever we go. A witness. Uh. I can even make you a little cage if you want. Gilded and everything. Sounds pretty awful, yeah! Do something. Do anything that isn't taking her hand. You're just an object, a tool. You once were something else a long time ago. And was that just a dull and jaded memory? There is no other ending here. Take her hand and set her free. Well. Time for a life behind bars, boys! You extend your hand to hers. For all her past cruelties, the moment feels gentle. Tender, even. I can't believe you just made me say that. I hate you. Oh. The motion is difficult at first, as if something still resists your efforts. But then that resistance gives way, and it's over. Well, bye, everyone. <sighs> and that's the end. I wonder what we're going to do next. Um, excuse me? Hands from another dimension? Can you please come very quickly? I didn't think I'd be so... tired. Huh? The princess exhausted slumps? Why is it so cold? What the fuck? Oh... You do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Well, there she goes, boys! There goes 15-fingered Philippa! She's gone. Yep. Yeah. I can finally think again. 
Almost. That mirror's back. Sure is. What does that mean for us? It means it's time to go bye-bye. I'm sure it'll be whisked away, just like her. Maybe it won't be gone. Things are different now, aren't they? Are they? It doesn't seem like there's much else to do here. Finally, we can smash it. Is that even an option? Oh, you stop with the smashing. What do we say, boys? One last <laughs> vain attempt to look at ourselves. <laughs> Fucking love this guy. Yeah. I think I'd like that. Okay, seems we've got a majority. All that's left is to give it a look. Let's give it a look. You step towards the mirror once more. Its secrets remain hidden. Its mysteries remain unsolved. Something tells me that this is the end of the line. But I don't feel bad about it. I'm ready. It feels... Okay. Why? The fear's... Gone. I'm done fighting. My heart feels... Quiet. What? The game was always going to end. I'll be free of all of you. I'm ready for the truth. I'm ready to sleep. Time for the face reveal. I'm just ready to be anywhere that isn't here. Yeah, all right, man. Boys, it's been an honor. <laughs> Love that they're boys. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. Oh, you've withered. That doesn't feel good that I've withered. That's not a good sign. It's because she withered, isn't it? I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. She's getting a little more intense. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still the same. There is an incalculable amount of hands on my screen right now. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. Yeah, so I think we change with her every time too. But I think the thing that confuses me is why did we hear voices that we haven't experienced yet in that? What do you think of this vessel? This one is filled with sadness. A doll, abandoned to the company of her darkest impulses. She desires only companionship. But the only thing she knows is how to hurt. She will make for a tender heart. I wonder if it's because I fucking threw a knife at her and stayed with her. Do not mourn her. She has finally found her way home. Do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen. Just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths. And my attention is turned inward. Except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Got a lot of slaying to do until then, I think. Have you figured out what you'll want when we've finished? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves. But none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for. Our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. I gotta say, these options at the end are so tempting, but also not. Because I just don't want to fuck it. I don't want to fuck it, you know? Destroy your body. Yeah, I don't. Can we even? Let's see what happens. Destroy your body. You raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into the space your body should be, you feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. Here we go. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark, and you die. I don't want to attack her. I don't want to attack her! She's like a weird little eldritch fucking baby made of a th like only like four people right now. Continue to the cabin. I'm gonna not bring the blade this time. Hello? Is someone there? She's gonna walk down quietly. Good. You're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you may still be able to do what needs to be done. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. She's before. beautiful. 
Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. I'll see what I can do. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? You attempt to make your way out of the basement. Oh, we're doing this again. the door at the top of the stairs. Is someone else here? Yep, yep, yep. Well, that's not good. Um, return to the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, we're not making it. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Well, I oopsied, okay, and I doopsied, and we all do. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. All right, I like that attitude. She barely hesitates oh, before raising her arm okay. down mouth, Don't know if her I like that one! Don't know if I really like that one! Of a trapped Don't know if I love that one too much! As We've been here before. The blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. Save the princess, slay the princess. What did we do last time this happened? We tried to save her. I don't know if we can get the same route. I'm going to try and save her again. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. I can't just let her escape into the world. Oh, this is the same as last time, yeah. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. What are you doing? Slay the princess, slay the princess, slay the princess. Oh, warn her. Uh, well, shit. No, you can't do the same thing twice. Sorry. Excuse me, princess. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. Well. You bring the blade down to strike at the princess's heart. How does this go? But she's fast. Oh. She ducks to the floor, your blade narrowly grazing her backside. Slaying her won't be easy now that she's free. Well, shit. We could have gotten out of here together. Were you just lying to me this whole time? No! I don't know what's come over you, but if I have to kill you, then I'll kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? That's fucking intense. She pounces oh my God. with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. Oh, she's going beasto mode. But you have a weapon. Ooh. You raise the blade, digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. It's not enough to stop her. You feel her claws in your throat, then her teeth, somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and oh, sing you with ease. Oh, she's going beast mode. You collapse to the floor, your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. She stares down at your ravaged form, eyes shining in the darkness, dress stained in red as her blood and yours both seep into the fabric. Well... If we're lucky, the wound you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, it will kill her before she can reach the outside world. We'll see. It can't just end like this, right? You say that a lot, bro. And it usually does. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. Yep, yeah, heard that one before. The witch. Oh. You're on a path in the woods. Okay. And at the end of that path is okay, a cabin. She got that witch in her. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay, damn witch, damn. You're here to slay her. Let's just go to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. Okay. She will lie. She will cheat, and she will do everything, everything in her power, power to stop, stop you from slaying her. her. Yep, yep, we Don't know the a word drill. She says. The hammer and every fucking power tool in the shed now, we know it all. Don't worry. You can trust us to get the job done. Yep. Well, I'm sure she won't be that bad. How beast sh could she should could, could she the possibly The interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots. The walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happens She's to got resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shell. She's gone pretty fucking with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Okay, this is kind of cool though. This is neat. I like this cottage core aesthetic. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'm gonna always approach the mirror. You walk up. To what are you talking about? Is it just the same? You reach yeah, forward and rub your hand against the cabin. Okay, wall. Hope you know let's how take the blade, I think. Like. Or should we just enter it without... We enter it without... For, if she's beast, and she's perception, and we're perception, I'm beast. No blade. 
Hope you know what you're getting us into. Oh yeah, it'll always be here if we need it. Sure, that was also true last time and we still died, but we definitely know what we're doing this time. No, I've got this. I've got it figured out. I've got the game figured out. I'm locked in. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase mode. dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. Awful way to say that. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. Mm. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive maw waiting to swallow you up into the earth. You had me at Ma, brother. Let's do this. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, Ugh. slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. God damn, I'm drinking this shit. I'm not even breathing. Her voice skitters up from below. Skitters up is new. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Oh, okay. Hello. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. I'm not nasty, I swear. She must have you confused with someone else. I'm not nasty. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole I'm situation. So clean. You can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? I mean, this guy's kind of based. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly okay. debate about what to do with the princess. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Let's do it. How bad could it be this Thank time? You. Okay, steps. it's not so bad. The... She's just she's a little witchy, sure. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. <sighs> it's okay. She's beast, but we're beast too. We're beaster. And there you are, once again seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine. I'll play along for now. What do you want? Just a... Uh... Actually She's really acting know. like the two of you already know each other. Oh no. You've already been here, haven't you? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's pretty sharp. How do you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. <laughs> do you remember us then? Do you remember last time? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. I just am so interested in what the narrator actually is. He's like the only part of this that I feel like I don't understand. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Okay. Is it all behind us? I don't know. I don't know. She looks like she's going to do some witchy shit. Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now. My so I'd world. appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. My world? Let's chat her up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. Yeah, sorry. I have, like, I have extensive internal monologues. It's so bad, like, minutes at a time. I get the sense you're not happy with me. Is that a joke? Do you think a joke will charm my trust back? You'll have to try harder than that. Sorry, I have streamer disorder. Things got messy last time, but there's something bigger than both of us at work. We should team up, like the Avengers. I suppose you didn't come into my hovel of your own accord, did you? All right, I suppose I could team up. You really mean? I need a way out after all, and unfortunately you're the only one I have. Seems to me like she's offering a mutually beneficial arrangement. We should take it. Makes sense to me. Do you know what the word mutually means? Because it sounds to me like she's offering an arrangement that benefits her and her alone. I'm literally like a bird, dude. Sorry about last time. Oh, smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. Yeah, oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. Oh, 
If you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. Okay. Hey, shit. Remember how last time I didn't I didn't bring the knife and then you had to like eat eat your arm off? Well, I I might have done that again. Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. Oh. The princess grins as the chains fall from her wrist. You could have done it the whole time. You could have done it the whole time. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little uh oh. A woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. Okay. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. <laughs> she if really just like, to her <laughs> own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. Why do I get the nagging feeling you're gonna maybe stab me in the back if I help you out of here? And why would I do such a thing? Is someone's guilty conscience getting to them? I don't know, I'm possessed by a narrative. But I wouldn't worry. As much as I may hate you, letting you live is in my best interests. If you get me out of here, the only thing that will be dead and buried is the bad blood between us. Oh, she's so, she's definitely lying oh, and cheating. that nagging feeling you mentioned is me, by the way. I'm actually a little anxious about a potential backstabbing event. You think she's doing a little bit? She work? needs us to get out of here. We'll be fine if that's what we decide to do. Okay. You won't be fine because destruction is in her nature. Uh. If she gets out of here, that's it for the world, remember? Even if that's true, that doesn't automatically mean she's going to stab us in the back. But I think that depends on your definition of words like stab and in the back. <laughs> she might not literally do that, but you could very well symbolically do the same thing. See? He gets it. There's nothing wrong with looking out for number one. Oh, she's probably thinking the same thing. Let's leave with her. Yes. Let's. Seems trustworthy enough. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, Bonjour. even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. Okay. You first, madame. She's silent for a long moment, as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. <laughs> After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. <laughs> no, no, really. I think ladies first. Oh, no. We can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on <laughs> anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. It shouldn't matter who leads and who follows. We're working together here. Yeah, okay. Well, if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. We may be in this together, but that doesn't mean we have to trust her. Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. We're the ones who broke her trust last time. That's true. That's true. You're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out, but if you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. I'm sure it'll be fine. The stairs look mighty slippery today. And... And your... Uh... Grippers are probably better to go first. I might slip and fall and hurt us. And turn my back on you? Do you think me a fool? Your tricks are one of the only things I've known, and I've learned better by now. Okay, fair enough. You're the one who said you can't leave here without me, which means I hold all the cards. Just so, I'm just gonna be like so, just, <laughs> just so paranoid. No, it's my bad. I'll go first. That's right, you're the one who's going first. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you watching every single thing you do. Uh-huh. That's exactly what I'm worried about. Okay. You step onto the stairs sure and fine. begin your ascent from the basement. The princess follows close on your heels, perhaps even a little closer than you'd like. You're only saying that because you want us to feel nervous. Oh. I do want those things, but I want them for a good reason. I don't need you to trust me for my sake because I already know that I'm right. This is for you. <laughs> Can we walk backwards up the stairs? I think that's the smarter idea. I agree she with can't that, yes. sneak in an attack if we're facing her. Yep, let's no. go. No. The stairs are a bunch of overgrown roots. You'll trip and hurt yourself. I, I could look a little bit. The princess is silent as you both continue the climb, and in no time at all, the upstairs of the cabin is within reach. Isn't that a relief? We're fine. Nothing happened. Or did it? You're not even going to wait until you're through that door to proudly claim your victory, are you? Okay. Why did you just say that? I think we know why. Uh oh. You feel something dig into your shoulder, oh! sharp and piercing. The princess clawing at you and pulling you down with her full weight. Oh, yeah! Together you tumble back down the uneven stairs, your body and hers crashing against the unyielding wooden roots until finally you both separate with a bone-shaking thud against the basement floor. 
you feel something pop. Cool! The princess lands against the far wall, gasping as she struggles to recover from the impact. Why the fuck did you do that? You're still in shock, trying to get a hold of yourself. She grins as you continue to remain exactly where you are, cackling derisively <laughs> as she watches you realize that you won't be getting up. Well, sorry, princess. Wait, why won't we be getting up? Uh, I'm afraid your back is broken. One unlucky fall is all it takes, really, and you had several. Oh, that's horrifying. You know what? I'll say it. That sucks. <laughs> you must have known this was coming. The arrogance of turning your back to me after everything you've done. I mean, like, maybe I thought it would work out. We could have gotten out of here. Why would I ever trust you? Your hands have spilled my blood. And knowing that, you should never have trusted me either. You should have known I would never walk hand in hand with a loathsome thing like you. Okay, just because I'm a weird little bird little gator thing doesn't mean you have to say that. This is kind of rude. By our very natures, only one of us can make it upstairs unscathed. Someone had to make the first move. Better me than you. See, this is why I wanted her to go first. I had this whole little scheme planned, where once she'd passed by the table upstairs, I'd have said, now pick up the blade and stab her in the back. Oh, we're a little sneaky. And then you'd say something like, wow, that's an amazing idea that I never saw coming. Thanks for looking out for us. And then you would have done it and we wouldn't be stuck down here with a broken back. We do have that. It's just one problem with that. And what's that? She was clearly planning to betray us. And if she was in front of us, she would have gotten to the blade first. Just talking about how much we're good, we would betray each other. Ugh, you're right, aren't you? I thought this whole thing was ironclad, but really it was doomed from the start, wasn't it? Yeah. The princess's oh. body twitches as she tries to get up. <laughs> she broke her fucking back. Oh, <laughs> she's not as bad as us. <laughs> it's so dumb. Something inside me is broken. Uh, Isn't that a cruel twist of the night? No fucking way. Isn't that so... so funny? It's, it's kind of funny a little bit, to be honest. She eyes you with intensity, silence falling between you for a long moment as her gaze travels up and down yeah. your battered form. Yeah. Seems I'm not the only one, though. <laughs> yeah, this fucking sucks. Wait, are we both just stuck here? <laughs> oh my god. It certainly seems that way. <laughs> that is insane. What a way to go. Uh, look on the bright side. In all this chaos, you may have actually managed to deliver a lethal wound. The world could be saved after all. <laughs> God damn. We're going to die together. Isn't that a lovely treat? I wonder how long it'll take. Maybe I'll get to watch the worms lick your bones clean. So intense. Let's just hang out. Is that really what's going to happen? Oh. Hello? Are you still there? What happens next? Oh shit. He doesn't respond. Did he just fucking give up? He just give up on us? I think he's gone. Something strange is twisting this place out of shape. I wasn't feeling much of anything, but now I feel cold. Oh, she's gonna get. Yep. What do I look like this time? What the fuck? You've unraveled! There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it. She's getting aware aware. Do you think we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me. Oh, the narrator. Yes, I want to ask you about the narrator. No. Their minds are empty. Existent. But constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? I do. He does, and when I find him, you and I are finally going to have answers. Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. God damn, she's so consistently based and enlightened. Honestly, fuck yeah. What are your thoughts on this vessel? Sorry about the spine, by the way. This one is hope marred by bitterness. She could see the end of the tunnel, and the door was closed on her. Might be. She will make for a righteous and weathered heart. Do you think there's other people out there? 
It doesn't matter if there are. People are frail and impermanent. You and I are the only things that interest me. So we're not people. You know what's going to happen when you awaken? No. The point of awakening is to find out. The next time I see what you... What the fuck we are. Each of us will finally know what we are. Oh, what? I will be here. Waiting for you. The next time? <laughs> Holy shit, I take it all back. We can fix her, boys! Let's do it! I haven't done this. Peace. Seriously? <laughs> you're just going to turn around and leave. Do you even know where you're going? Yeah, you know, yeah, the other way. Fine. <laughs> I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Yeah, I don't need to go there. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Let's dip out. Killing and slaying the princess sounds ridiculous, and I would never do such a thing, and there's no record of me doing it 19 times. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's just rude, bro. That's strange. What? It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. Yo, you're a ball. You're a motherfucker. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. And I'm sure whoever finds this cabin will take care of that. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. No. -uh. I don't care! Killing a princess is ridiculous, and I would never do it! Killing is such a gauche phrasing, and completely ignores the bigger picture. Your task is to slay the princess, because she's terrible, and she's really got it coming to her. What the fuck is the difference between slaying and killing? Oh... I think the narrator knows what's going on with this bigger entity. And I think he wants that whole thing out of the picture. Not just this princess or whatever princess is in this world. Anyway, what do I know? Because I'm going can. in the <laughs> other way. Oh, would you look at that shit? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally <laughs> one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. And I appreciate it. But seriously, dude, yo soy bueno, I'm all good. Start walking a different direction. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go on a fucking hike. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. Well, I'm going to have a very nice walk. And maybe I'll find a cool little stream. Because I'm a streamer. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. Oh, you're saying that like it's not, though. At first, it's... Little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. Okay, it looks like a bit of a cabin, so maybe we go to the right. Maybe we head over. Really but as you oh. focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. What the fuck? In every direction, uh. there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. But I already come in there! What's going on? Fair question! But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk <coughs> your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. Well, fuck you, dude! You've doomed us all. You know that, right? Uh, but of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. I just really like the smell of pine. You lose track of just uh, how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. For real, for real? What? You're on a path in the woods. Wait, something's different. Over there, it's a wall? Those walls weren't here last time. You can't force me to go to the cabin. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. Is he... has he just been pretending that he doesn't remember? If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like a captive audience. He might have walled off everything but the path to the cabin, but I'm uh -oh. sure there's plenty of other ways we can ruin his day. Uh-oh. If by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, 
then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. <laughs> the world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. I don't think it did. I think he chose for it. The world stop. hasn't ended yet. And you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, no worries. Heading to the place where I'm definitely going to slay that princess. You know I can tell when you're lying, right? <laughs> Please take this seriously. I am begging you. I take it very seriously. The trail in the opposite direction of the cabin, I mean. A warning oh my before God. you go any further. <laughs> if we're stuck going in there, maybe we I should know. believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. That's a pretty good point. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Let's keep an open mind. Uh huh. Well, we gotta go to the cabin now. The cabin interior is wrong. A confusing patchwork of what many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. Huh. But it's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there, such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. I think I need to reorganize my mod load order. I think I might have installed the wrong textures. The only what the fuck? note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths. It's material devoid of feature. Oh, that's cool. Perched on that you table. look around like that. That it's is a, a cool blade. effect that everything's on a different layer like that. Oh, that's sick. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this that's right. right. If he wants us to take it, okay. maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? True. No, we're taking the knife. <sighs> Have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect, and no idea what we're dealing with. Just playing with it. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're okay. dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong... It's pretty fucked up. Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts, and to guide you through your job. Which is to slay the princess and through that action, is it though? save the entire world. Is it though? And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh, I understand now. I think he does know what's going on. And I think that, you know, he knows that if I start to have thoughts or interact with the princess before she dies, that it's fucked. So I do think he is jumping between these with us. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? This kind of nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job, so you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Okay. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. Heart it lung, really cock isn't hard. Balls, hard lungs, cock balls. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. Is it by chance, per chance, by chance, Miss Narrator, to uh, to maybe slay the princess? We always approach the mirror on the wall. You walk I, up. What are you talking about? I have to check. It's you reach forward yeah. and rub your. But there was. And now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. All right. We are going to take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Yeah. Okay, fine, you took the knife. But you really shouldn't hold it like that. Then how are we supposed to hold it? The other way, thumb at the bottom. will look much cooler <laughs> and more serious if we hold it with our thumb at the bottom. Yeah, we are going to look pretty cool. It really doesn't matter how you hold the blade, as long as you have it. Just make a choice. Pull the blade the other, the cool way. You switch your grip on the blade. Congratulations. <laughs> oh my god! Did the <laughs> Did my fucking cursor just change? That's actually so that's so funny. Yes! Isn't this so much better? Oh guys, the game's changed. <sighs> okay, fine. You're right. This does look a lot better. This is pretty sick. It really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal with the princess already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do it! Seriously. Ugh. <sighs> You 
throw the blade at the window, <sighs> glass showering the cabin as That's your sick. weapon flies out into the night. That's awesome. I suppose you'll just have to deal with the princess without it. It looks pretty cool, though, when we'll I was holding it that way, doesn't it? Don't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? The world ends? Oh, well. If the princess <laughs> wasn't going to do it, the heat death of the universe was going to come for it eventually. All right, fucking voice of the young Sheldon. I'm not so sure. This place is already messing with my head. It would be much better if we had a weapon. Yeah, well, we threw it out What's the window. done is done. Good luck, hero. Here we go. The door to the basement. Oh, okay. A web of branching staircases, okay. all um, built from unidentifiable um, materials. All right. You know, I can't help but wonder what the hell is the princess gonna look like. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get. Your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go oh, anywhere, shit. let alone down. Is there even a princess this time? The air here has a sickening almost sludge-like miasma to it, Ooh, the kind of indiscernible so quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. Oh. An odor that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. Say sludge like miasma to me again. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality drags up the stairs. Oh, what is she gonna sound like? Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? Oh. No. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, don't be such a baby. Uh, that's pretty bad. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like whatever we do, we're gonna die. We don't even have a weapon. My bad. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. What's that? And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his day. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Take the harsh stairs, soft stairs, or center stairs. Take the soft stairs? Is that how stairs can be? You step to the right. The path Ooh, feels soft squishy, and squishy reassuring stairs. against your feet. The stairs almost seem to cradle you as you make your way down. Well, that's nice. Like they're guiding your heels from one step directly to the next. Ooh. You barely have to extend any effort to descend. Damn. The stairway doing most of the work for you. Fuck. You don't feel like there's any concern that you might slip or tumble or lose your way. God, I'm walking, but it still feels like an escalator. This is incredible. But the further you go, the oh, deeper no. you sink in. Oh, no. First, it's like a lovely plush carpet, your toes digging down and barely hitting any resistance at all. But soon enough, you're fighting just to keep your knees from sinking out of sight. Maybe I shouldn't have taken these stairs. The softness oh! threatens to swallow you whole, to wrest control of your body and surround you in a false ethereal bliss, pretending to save you from the cruelties of choice and consequence. Dude, it's just stairs! It's slow going, but you manage to fight against the overwhelming urge to fall back into comfort and nothingness, the very struggle to continue forward consuming your every thought. Goddamn, Tim Repeating made these fucking steps. Holy shit. What? What the fuck? You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Uh, Time disappears, oh, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish, until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey. A continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Consumption and betrayal. What? Skepticism and blind devotion. Rivalry and submission. What? Terror and longing. Pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Are you shuffle. okay? Oh. I'm nervous about this one. I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. Is it? The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Mm -hmm. Don't forget why you're here. What is her angle this time? Is she contrarian? And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. <sighs> you're here to- He's just being an ass, we remember. <laughs> Though I'm still not sure if we should 
trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit, try and get our bearings. She seems normal. Yeah, it seems okay in here. Sorry, I didn't realize I was here. That's okay. Sometimes I forget where I am too. Oh boy, what have we done? The shadows recede, revealing the princess's face. Hi. She's so warm and friendly. Uh-huh. It's deception. Don't buy into it. Soft like stairs. Like soft. How strange. So, why are you here? Huh? As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. Uh. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. What did I do? We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can can we put her back? Again? Have you been here before? Yep. Should we tell him? Nah, let him stew. <laughs> right, I'm telling him. Yeah, we've been here before, but we never went to the cabin. We just turned around and left until... Until? Well... It's hard to describe. Until the only thing we could see was the same cabin going on forever. And then you told us that the world ended and we died. We didn't see and then it. we woke up and I'm pretty sure you're familiar with all the rest of it. Some days I think we should have taken the middle stairs. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? What the fuck is the narrator's deal, man? Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here, and you need to do it now. Okay. Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. I do want to try that. What's your name? Seals like a, that feels like a question that could fragment someone. You can call me Princess, if you'd like. Oh, I guess they all actually are Princess. princess. Okay. There's uh, two, by the way. Princesses, princesses. Do you need help? Not that there's much I can do chained up like this, but I'm the only one down here. So if you need anything, I'll do my best. What do you think? What's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to get under my skin? No! She fractures again. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Neither do I. Which is why you need to slay her now before things get more complicated than they already are. How would we even do that? Where would we start? We could always start by retrieving the blade. How many blades even is it now? The one he made us throw out the window. I wasn't the one who threw it. Oh, come on, you told us to. Don't try to pass the blame now that it's come back to bite us. Okay. Well, if I'd known we'd be dealing with this, maybe <laughs> I wouldn't have been so hasty with yeah. my suggestions. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. Nope. Kind of hurts to think about it, doesn't it? It's like everything we say just multiplies her. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. Yeah, but I kind of want to know. Getting down here was weird, like I was pulled apart and put back together again. Do you know what happened to me? I don't know what happened to you, but you look like you're in one piece now. One piece. B but I understand. Sometimes I feel like I'm being pulled apart too. You do? It's so terrifying down here. But at least now you're not alone. And I'm not alone either. No, there's actually uh, three, we're four we're of stuck you. We're down here forever, aren't we? There's no way out, and barely a way in. Oh God! I don't remember what it was like before I was in this place. Why would I know what happened to you? You're not really cut out for this, are you? Why are you even here? I don't know. I took the soft stairs. You're locked up for a reason. I don't you know, know why? why I'm here, but there has to be a reason, right? You don't just lock a princess away in a place like this without a reason. I wish I knew what it was. Fuck, like I've seen these all at this point. But you know, right? You have to know. You're the only other person I've ever seen. Or at least the only one I can remember. Don't give me false hope. Please just end this already. Oh my god. One way or another, just do it. Jesus Christ. Oh! Boy, we both know why I'm locked away here. I'm a monster, and the second I get out of this place, I'm going to end the entire world. That is a new energy you are bringing to the table, woman. This is reaching its breaking point. If you don't act now, there will be nothing in here but her. Take a deep breath and focus up. Okay. But how do we decide what to do? Can there even be a right uh -huh. choice when all of them are so different? No question. Stop overthinking it. Your drifting thoughts have clearly been part of the reason this situation has gotten out of hand. If you're trying to do the right thing, there's only ever been the one option, and that option is slaying yep, her. Yep, slaying her, except there's like five just, now? Just, just do something. Do anything. <laughs> do all of it, if that's what you want. This place is hell, and it's only getting worse. 
Well, I think we should try to free her, leave her in the, leave her in the basement, slay her, and let her go. So that Wait, and then, and that's not simple. right. Go on. Mm -hmm. You take a step forward. Your foot lands, but it lands different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. Oh God, we split. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. Fuck, dude, I should have just gone to the cabin. Uh... You what the, the blade fuck? suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to languish alone. Uh... Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. But this... Oh! We, we can't... They're superfying! Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. My god, he's experiencing a slimesicle video. Luckily for all of us, nothing uh. and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all... Before it all. ...falls apart? Um, hi! I think he's gone. We were never going to salvage this, were we? What? What happened to us? What are we? There are, there are parts, parts of us that are dead, dead. and, the and others, others, and the others they, they just, just don't, don't fit. fit. They just don't fit. Oh, this is so my bad. We can feel the moving. Oh! They don't belong. It's all it's so, so uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay. I'm, I'm, shit! Did you, Did you do this? this? Did, Did we, we do this? this? Can, can, can you pull, can us, you back pull us back apart? Can you fix us? Can you fix us? Well, if you ask me and if you ask my Twitch chat, it's two different answers. Oh, now you don't want to fix her. Yeah, okay. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. <laughs> so me. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Yeah. Please, please, please. I can try it. I really know. I'll do my best. Oh. And here we are again. Oh, what the fuck am I going to look like? Oh, I'm gonna be all. Yeah, I'm gonna be funny. You need to see what's in it. I'm gonna be like a hundred dudes. Oh, but that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze, and then you see it—a figure, faint and veiled in shadow, just beyond the reflection. Are you me? I think you know what I am. Oh! The crack slides down the center of the mirror. Splitting the image in the glass in two. And then another crack forms, and another, and another. Turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. What the fuck? What? So you're the narrator. The narrator, yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. Oh. oh, I don't get to ask that many questions, do I? I've met you many times. Have you been the same you all along? I haven't, and that's by both necessity and design. Okay. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. What? Oh god, okay. Are you something like me? Oh, I'm nothing like you. I'm an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. What the hell? You a part of me, or are you something else? No, I'm not a part of you. But that's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? From one vantage point, I must seem wholly foreign, but from another, well, all the versions of me that have existed have collectively heard your every thought and driven your every action. If that isn't being part of you, then what is? Okay, Bird. What is the princess that you make her to? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, 
for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. Got that already. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. This isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. Why would you want me to destroy the concept of transformation? Because among other things, she is death itself. To rid the world of suffering, to save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind, she must be destroyed. What would it be like to live in a world without change? Light. Burdenless. An eternal pattern of forgetfulness leading into the joys of rediscovery. Everyone will be with the ones they love. No more fear. No more howling chaos. Just life. Forever. There's a cruel irony to it all. The only way I could share my dream with the world was to never be able to see it for myself. Okay, Crow. So you do know about the looping. Perhaps they thought that admitting to it would have pushed so, you to yeah, certain yeah. realizations that would have made finishing your task impossible. Maybe they were just in denial. I'm sure many of them were convinced that they had to be the first version of them you'd encountered. Anything else would have been too existentially unpleasant. For all I know, each of those other versions of me could have had entirely different understandings of how this construct Whoa. works. Who's to say which of them are right and which of them are wrong, really? Except for me. I can tell you for a fact that I'm right. Yeah, you all seem to think that. You all seem to think that. People out there beyond the walls of the construct, they know about this. Of course not. The only way this construct could function was if nobody knew what it was doing. But the bones of the universe are old. It's on the cusp of its dying breath, and the people out there are consumed with thoughts of oblivion. When the patterns are wiped from the sand, huh. when the board is reset, who will remember them? All I've done is give them a chance to live outside of the shadow of the end. No death, huh? Why would you want to rid the world of death? If you need to ask that question, there's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. You cannot die. So you cannot grasp the abject horror of dying. One last question. Sorry, funny bird. But I'm pretty sure some sort of weird, eternally soft, odd world where nothing ever changes and nothing ever dies is fucking awful. So well, fuck you. There's no reasoning with a god. Even one you've woven into existence yourself. I've said my piece, and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. Peace. There it goes. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. You are the long quiet. A vast, amazing god. It is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. That's a lot of women, and it's I'm very been scared. It's so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. Well, we did it. We fixed her. I'm long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. Do you know about the Echo? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Yeah. Pay him no mind. What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? I guess we're both doing that. When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, 
Will you open the final doors to our liberation? Okay. Don't you want to say in all of this? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens. Just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Did it even matter what roads I walked down? If you're saying that, it's because you don't yet understand. But we cannot use words alone to grasp at things that words cannot express. And you cannot rationalize with logic that which defies it. Oh. Violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten um. you, then so be it. Uh, well, I didn't say that. Violence mob you. There is no beginning to them, nor is there an end. Oh. There is only the flood of bodies. And every moment you hold every possible sensation at once. And then you hold them all again. And in the end, you returned it to me. For a brief moment, you were everything. A chaos that needed ordering. But without chaos, there is no reason. You seemed in pain. I'm sorry for what I did to you. I am. I saw with a single pair of eyes what I needed dozens to comprehend. And now here we are, each with millions of eyes, and all of them opening to what we are. Oh. A trick behind your back and a trick behind mine. We dance, revolving and revolving around each this other, crazy. but forever stuck in place. We both move and yet we both don't, for each of us watches the other instead of ourselves. But forever is not forever. I move and you react and both of us break the other. But broken is only a moment in time. To change is to hold the potential to rise above. Would you limit yourself to what you are now? Or would you like to see what you might become tomorrow? I mean, yeah? But you're like, you're like talking to me like you're a final boss. Hey, come on. I won't engage in violence. But violence has defined the flow of everything between us. Do not deny what we are. And do not color our conflict with fear. Hello? There are few things more terrifying than one's own heart. And there is almost nothing more terrifying than sharing it with another. But the most terrifying thing of all is to leave one's heart unshared. You are the only thing like me. And I am the only thing like you. Could you bear the weight of an eternity alone? Do you dare to shape a reality of solitude and thrust it on creation? Doesn't matter how I feel, death, suffering, and oblivion shouldn't fall on others if we are able to transcend death and we are responsible for those it holds captive. Kind of, try, I, yeah, a little bit. The Echo saw horror because his eyes were closed. The majesty of being extends beyond any single perspective. No, not you! Not you! Your body. Not and you! Another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? Love melted into skepticism. <laughs> not you! And you pulled back layer after layer after layer until all you were left with was the knowledge that you did not know me. You sought the truth, then. Will you hide from it, now that it is within your grasp? Yeah, we can't let a world be spun out of just us kicking the shit out of each other, paralyzing each other, that sucks. Their suffering is born of their own delusion. Oh! What is a person? Is it their body? Is it all of their body? Pluck the eyes. Peel the skin. Uh. Strip the tendons. Mince the meat. Grind the bones. When it is all gone, do you still have who you started with? A person is not oh, a body. Death is a transformation into something new. It is only bodies that fear it. I am not my body, but perhaps others are theirs. And yet bodies change and consciousness goes on. The infant's body is not the child's, is not the adult's. But the thread of existence remains strung through it all. Easy for you to say you're a tree. As the clash between you abates, the princess relaxes, smiling from a distance. The respite is welcome. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. 
There is no constant. There is no center. All right, I get that you've got a thing. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. It is true. It is from my vantage point that I can see the totality of truth. Well, that seems like a lot. Do everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. It's true. What I offer you is not perspective. It is truth. Oh. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it alone. Oh shit, it's my boy! Which hero are you? Um, all of them. I assume in the same way that you're all of you. Where's everyone else? They're still where you left them. Stuck in the folds of this place. Part of me is with them, just like part of me is with you right now. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time let's do to it. resume our dance. All right, let's fucking go, big tree, a uh, million woman. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? I'm ready. Then let's go. What the fuck? Oh my god. And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, okay. but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Oh my god, outside, it's just princesses. Do you need me to describe things? Sure. Yeah, of course. The interior of the cabin is, well, it's a cabin, yeah? There isn't much here, just a table and a knife and a door. And some windows. You know, come to think of it, I don't think he ever really mentioned the windows, did he? I guess not. There's no mirror, either. I think you broke it. Wonder why. And I know you're still trying to find some middle ground, but if things go south, we're going to need that blade. All right. That's probably for the best. It's always seemed to give us more options than not. Okay. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Have you figured out what you want to do yet, or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't exist? Oh. It sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Let's do it. Let's do it. And there no you are, knife in hand. It really brings me back. Have you given up on talking? Have you finally decided to kill me? You'll have all of eternity to yourself after this. Why don't we chat a little before I go? Well, shit, maybe I shouldn't have taken the knife. Are you the same as you are out there? No. I feel like I'm myself again. I don't want to hurt anyone. There has to be a way out of this. Well, I don't want to be at the end of that knife, so how about we figure something out? What if we tried doing this forever? I can do whatever you think I can, right? Does that sound good to you? So, make me put it all back. Make me fix the Echo's construct and make me wipe our memories of everything that's happened. Oh man, I don't know about make that. Make me send us back to the beginning, before we woke up. Before either of us saw the truth. Can she really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? Is there any other way? You brought that knife down here for a reason. Either you use it to kill me, or I use it to put things back. Ah, uh, shit! No, I did I did it because he told me to! Oh, god damn! Would we setting in here do anything to help them? Fixing that is on you, not me. If you want me to help them, you'll have to make me help them. We're gonna find ourselves back here eventually. And if we do, nothing is stopping us from making the same choice. We could just keep doing this forever. I shouldn't have taken the blade. Oh, I shouldn't have taken the blade. To be fair, I want to be here with you. I don't want to be alone again. Neither do I. But we won't be alone for long. I'll be right here, waiting for you. I don't want this and I don't want to kill you. Yeah, I think it's too late for that. But maybe next time. Well, in that case, maybe on the next go around. Okay. If this is your choice, then I have your back. I guess I'll see you on the other side. She takes the blade from our hand, a fondness in her gaze. Ugh, do it. I'll see you soon. Remain silent. Damn, let's fucking drop it, chat. Let's fucking dr We're like two halves of a whole, right? Let's do the dance. Oh. I love you too. Alright, stab me with that fucking thing now, I guess. Oh! Well, fuck. Not the ending, maybe, that I that I wanted? Oh, no, 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 no! It's black screen, no! Oh, what the fuck? The whole computer's crashing. 
Oh, I can't even close the program. The mouse isn't working. This is like so weirdly metaphorical that I have, there's, there's, I'm either stuck here forever and there's nothing that I can do where I have to turn off the computer. What the fuck? Everything is gone. The computer's off. Everything is black. What the fuck is happening right now? Wait, what? Everything is Wait, what? 